Iceland, the land of fire and ice, and one of the most beautiful countries I've been to. I did a two-week road trip around Iceland back in 2018, and there are very few places around the world that I visit that I really hope to come back to, and Iceland is one of them. Earlier this year, I got lucky enough to go back to Iceland a second time around and got to take my parents with me. In this vlog, you'll see us exploring Reykjavik and checking out the incredible Sky Lagoon. It was so nostalgic being back, and as soon as we checked into our hotel, we headed out into the vibrant streets of Reykjavik. So we have made it to Reykjavik, feeling so nostalgic being here and walking down this street especially because this is where we stayed last time. So this is like the main street over here, it's called Loigavegor. And uh, yeah, just feeling very, very nostalgic. How are you feeling? Oh, feeling great. Nice to be back. Yeah, literally like walking down the memory lane <laughs> over here. So we actually have a tour of Sky Lagoon booked over here. So last time we were here, we checked out the Blue Lagoon, which was amazing. This time we thought we'll check out the Sky Lagoon. It actually hadn't even opened uh, the last time we visited, but I've heard really amazing reviews. They've got like a seven step spa ritual and everything. So we thought we'll check that out. So that tour starts in like an hour. Uh, so we're just walking around Reykjavik and just reliving our memories. Across the room When I rest met I never knew That I could feel this way so I already have a vlog on my channel covering all the touristy things to do in Reykjavik so if you're looking for that then I'll leave a card to that video over here the last time we visited we did more touristy stuff This is the Rainbow Street, so this sort of leads to the main church over there. This is the same place where we ate ice creams last time. I mean, time. we used to eat a lot many times. <laughs> Got some ice cream over here for old time's sake. It's pretty good. Though we are quite full. Yeah, and it's starting to rain. Get to know you. Just wanna get to know you. I know, know you. But I want to get to know you. Just wanna get to know you. So we're inside Sky Lagoon and I booked this tour on Get Your Guide. Uh, I feel like I've been using Get Your Guide a lot, especially in Europe. But the tour included our bus transfer as well, which was convenient. Uh, so they've given us these bands, one is for the locker and one is for the seven step spa ritual, which I'll tell you more about once we're inside. But yeah, I'm gonna change now and head inside the lagoon. Waiting and you drive in the dark, nobody home. The moment you step in, the warm waters embrace you like a cozy hug and the views here are out of this world. God, this is so nice so this is the main lagoon over here and uh, after some time we're gonna go do the seven step spa ritual it's so cold outside but the water is really nice and warm so it feels amazing the first step is to slow down and relax in the lagoon where you can float through the beautiful canyon and also go under the waterfalls The second step is to cool down with a cold plunge. I'm honestly impressed I managed to do this because the water was freezing. <laughs> it's freezing cold. Oh my god, it's freezing. <laughs> the 
The third step is to relax in the sauna and gosh, look at that view. The fourth step is a cold fog mist. The fifth is the signature body scrub to exfoliate your skin. The sixth step is the steam room to absorb the hydrating benefits of the scrub. The seventh and final step is to shower and relax in the lagoon. So done with the seven steps and you basically end up in the lagoon. So the first and the seventh step are the lagoon. Oh my god, it's so cold outside. But this was very unique. Uh, I've never done anything like this before. And you want it. You can head to the lagoon bar for a drink and once you're in, you can spend as much time here as you want. So done at the Sky Lagoon and this was honestly such a nice experience. I'm feeling super relaxed and rejuvenated. The seven step ritual was actually really nice. Now if I have to compare this to Blue Lagoon, it's hard to pick one. I think they're both really nice but uh, I feel like Sky Lagoon is a little bit nicer because of the seven step ritual uh, and how they've made that. But basically you get most of those things in Blue Lagoon as well. There's a steam room, there's sauna, they also give you like a face mask here, they give you a body scrub. So in that sense, it's sort of similar. I think the blue in the Blue Lagoon looks cool but otherwise I kind of did prefer this. Last time we were here, we went straight from the airport to Blue Lagoon and right now we're ending our trip with Sky Lagoon kind of come full circle in a way. So we paid around 10,000 rupees per person for this uh, particular package. Like I said, booked it on Get Your Guide. I'll leave a link to that particular tour in the description. But I feel like it's very worth it because Iceland in general is very expensive. Here everything was included and our bus transfers are included as well. So definitely feels like value for money. I think Blue Lagoon costs the same as well, to be honest. So yeah, they're both like really great experiences. I'm glad we got to check this out. We're back from Sky Lagoon and we just checked into our hotel, which is already a mess as you can see because my parents are actually flying back tonight uh, so my parents and I are taking different flights and flying to different countries actually so we're just sorting out all our luggage and uh, I'm gonna head outside in some time for dinner but yeah I really enjoyed Sky Lagoon I couldn't talk much about it earlier but honestly I've never been to a sauna with such an incredible view I've never been to a sauna with a view at all actually so that was really cool and yeah I'm so glad we could do Sky Lagoon and the drive back as well was really nice because the bus went all around Reykjavik so we basically got like a panoramic tour of the city which was nice if I wanted to I can never see through you Even if I wanted to, I could never see through you. So for dinner, we've come to this restaurant called Mai Thai, uh, basically Thai food. We all love Thai food, so we're eating that. And after that, my parents are leaving. How do you feel? <laughs> this was a very short time in Reykjavik. It always feels bad when the holiday comes to an end. <laughs> yeah, I still have till tomorrow morning but it already feels like it's getting over because they are leaving. Long journey back home. Our food is here, it's looking really good. These three dishes together cost 4,000 or 4,500 rupees. I'd forgotten how expensive Iceland is. Uh, last time we were here, we barely ate outside actually. We got like ready to eat meals from India so we were eating a lot of that. But yeah, indulging in some Thai food tonight. This looks delicious. Got some extra time before my parents leave for the airport, so we're just walking down Loigovegor again. And this street is so vibrant. Reykjavik is such a vibrant city. Like the buildings are so colorful. There's so much graffiti, like amazing graffiti around the city, and uh, lots of street art. And yeah, it's just such a lively place. It has properly started to rain now, uh, but we're just waiting for my parents' bus to the airport to arrive. But yeah, how has your trip been? So it has been very good. So the cruise especially was very good, like uh, we were able to go to places which otherwise we would not go. We didn't want the cruise to come to an end. I know. We were feeling sad when it came to an end. Normally we feel happy, you know, like uh, 10 days, like it's enough. <laughs> but this time we didn't feel that for 12 days, it was like 
we wanted more more of it yeah that's true but chalo anyway have a safe trip back home thank you bye, bye. thanks for coming thank on the trip calling thank us you. <laughs> bye papa bye bye, bye. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So it's the next morning in Reykjavik. It stopped raining, so I'm out and about. Uh, so I don't have too much time because I have to head to the airport. Okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. It has started drizzling again. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and pick up my tea. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't. Oh my God, that's where we stayed last time. Who remembers that place from my last vlog? So I spent my morning walking around Reykjavik while it was drizzling outside and taking it all in one last time. I can't believe I got to be back here a second time, and hopefully someday there's a third time as well. There are more vlogs from Norway and Iceland coming up, and the incredible cruise that I did while I was there. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.